Hello, my name is Steve Calmy. I'm a Vincentian, a volunteer with the Society of St. Vincent de Paul here in Milwaukee, um, out of my parish church, uh, St. Francis of Assisi. I've been a Vincentian for um, probably about nine years, um, starting in Cincinnati and then in Boston and now here in Milwaukee for the past three or four years. And um, it's been a great blessing in my life. Um, one of the things that strikes me about this ministry that keeps me coming back to it is the fact that we feel called to not only share material blessings with our neighbors in need, but also to share spiritual blessings, to be there as emotional support, as spiritual support. Um, and so when we go on our home visits, when I've been on my home visits, um, it's been a really graced time to uh, connect with others on that deeper level. The more I've been of Incension though, the more I realize that there's a real connection between those material needs and the spiritual needs. Um, and that often the material is a necessary way into the spiritual. Um, a common occurrence on home visits, we're going to uh, visit those in our neighborhood who are struggling with one thing or another, uh, maybe looking for um, some clothing for their children for school or uh, for a bed for um, an elderly relative, for their children, for themselves, um, for food. Um, one of the things I've noticed is that at first, you know, we are strangers coming into their home and they might be a little bit hesitant. Um, they'll give us short answers to our questions. Uh, I, might, I might try to do a little bit of small talk and you get the answers that, um, you know, they think you want to hear, that our, our neighbors think that we would want to hear as someone coming in from the outside. Um, I have noticed that once we determine the need and are able to share um, a gift certificate to our store or some other means that assures them that they will get the help, the material help that they're asking for, things change a little bit. Um, they loosen up when they have that gift certificate in hand. It's like they can breathe, they can take a breath. And the conversation that we can get into then is a little bit deeper because they realize that we're not there to judge them, uh, to make some sort of harsh decision about what we think they deserve, that we're there trying to give them whatever we can, trying to just share God's generosity. And to see some of the relief and anxiety melt away and just um, to see those brothers and sisters uh, of us start to see us in that way and share some of their deeper concerns, some of their spiritual concerns, um, especially towards the end of the visit when we offer to pray with them, um, to see how folks open up and that that brings us to open up as well and share with them a little bit about our lives. Um, so those moments of powerful connection that uh, just keep me coming back to this Vincentian life. It's also those moments that make me so grateful for those who support our work. Um, those whose prayers for us and for, our, for the volunteers help to open up our hearts and minds to those we visit. Uh, for those whose prayers for our neighbors allow them to welcome us into their homes, allow um, them to have open hearts and open spirits. And especially uh, for those material gifts that are made possible. You know, we would not be able to go into um, these homes if we did not often have some material items, some sort of financial support backing us. As I said, that's often what just opens the door. Um, certainly provides a real need. Um, but it also gives those folks we're visiting, um, gives us a chance uh, to really get into those homes in the first place if we have something material to bring. It allows us to get to that uh, deeper level of spirituality and sharing the love of Christ on that person-to-person -person level as well. Um, and I'm just grateful for those donors who make that happen. I also think that it's, um, tough sometimes to maybe not see the good of your work, both as Vincentians, as us volunteers, but especially those who support our work. And it reminds me of 
uh, a metaphor that the founder of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul once used, uh, Blessed Frederick Ozanam back in the 1800s. He talked about the way that tapestries are made. Um, there's one master artist who sees the whole design, sets everything out, but then the workers are given their individual tasks and they work from the back of the tapestry, always from the back, just putting the colors and threads where that master artist tells them to. With all these strings crisscrossing each other, it doesn't look like much from the back if you've ever seen the back of a tapestry. And Frederick said it's not until the piece is completed and turned over and the workers see the front of the tapestry, that they are in awe of what their hands have been able to do. And he says to us, Thus, friends, let us work on this earth, docile and submissive to the will of God, without knowing what he is accomplishing through us. But God, the divine artist, sees and knows. When the Lord will show us the finished work of our life, of our toil and of our troubles, we shall then be thrown into ecstasy, and we shall bless God for deigning to accept and place our poor works in the divine, eternal mansion. Thank you for all that you've done to support the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, and I pray that God might grant you that vision of the work that you are doing and its place in this building up of the kingdom of God, especially at this difficult time. Blessings and health on you and your family.